All right, this is uh, Unit 2 2 notes, and we're going to learn about matter in more detail and classify it into its different groups. Our uh, learning objectives are to talk about and cla uh, contrast mixtures and substances, and then to also be able to tell the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures. Our central questions How are or explain how substances and mixtures are different and give examples and which is more common mixture homogeneous or heterogeneous and why so first thing we're going to do is make sure we understand the universe is can be broken into two major categories you can either be considered um, energy or you can be matter they're kind of like opposites of each other energy is the ability to do work using a force to move an object. So examples of this when you think of energy, light, heat, sound, kinetic energy. Matter, on the other hand, is anything that has mass or volume and basically takes up space and it's made of atoms. So energy, not made of atoms, doesn't take up space. Matter, made of atoms, takes up space. So if you think about it, heat, can you grab heat and put it on the balance and get a mass? Can you grab sound and hold on to it and put it on the balance and get mass? Does this take up space? All right. Light, heat, sound, these are energies. They're not made of atoms. All right. Things are made of atoms, solid, liquid, gas, and plasmas. They take up space. We can put them on a balance and get a mass. All right. So... I'll just look at these ten things, and you need to figure out if it's made of matter or not. So it's either matter or energy. If it's matter, put yes. If it's not matter, in other words, it's energy, put no. So put yes or no on these ten things. So hit pause on the video and try to label it. Yes, it's matter. No, it's not. All right, hopefully hit pause. Here are the answers. See how you did? So water, yes. Dirt, yes. Those are pretty obvious. Light, sound, heat. These are not matter. These are types of energy. You cannot put them on the balance. All right. Air. Hopefully put yes, but some people will put no because you're like, wait a minute. I can't see air or air doesn't weigh or have a lot of mass. True, air does not have a lot of mass, but it does have some mass. When you blow on the balance, the balance changes. When you blow up a balloon, why does the balloon get bigger? Because air takes up space. So air is made of atoms and matter. Gas is a state of matter. Ice, yes. All right, sun. This is not sunlight, but the actual sun. The sun's a plasma, so yes. Magnetism. This is a type of energy. So, no, it's not matter. Lightning. The actual lightning itself is a plasma. This is a type of matter, yes. Alright, so matter can be broken into two major groups. Pure substances or mixtures. And underneath each of those groups we have subgroups. Compounds and elements are substances. Then mixtures, we have two types, homogeneous and heterogeneous. So a pure substance is matter that has a uniform, definite composition. Now, some people get confused, and you'll just see the word substance. Pure substance and substance are the same thing. So don't think one is more pure than the other. Substances are considered pure. All right, and the key to a substance is it cannot be separated by physical means. All right, and the two types of substances are compounds and elements. So we got to be able to tell the uh, the difference. So what is a compound? Compound is a substance that consists of two or more elements chemically combined. Two more elements chemically combined.
That's the key. Two or more elements. And it cannot be separated by ordinary chemical means. So over here on the right, you have a picture of salt and the chemical formula for salt. NaCl. All right, so if you look at that, salt has two elements. In a sodium, Cl is chlorine. Two different elements chemically combined. That is a compound. All right. The next thing is an element. An element is just one substance. It cannot be separated by ordinary chemical means. So this picture over here, what we're looking at is gold. Gold is an element. And elements are easy to identify because elements are on the periodic table of elements. I know this is a little blurry, but you'll be given a periodic table that you can use. And all of these are all the known elements that we know of. There's 118. So if it's not on the periodic table, it's not an element. Salt is not on here. It's the combination of two elements. Water, H2O. You don't see water on here, but you see the hydrogen and the oxygen. Those are compounds. Elements have to be on the periodic table. All right, so I want you to pause and label these as either an element or a compound. Element or a compound. All right, I hope you hit pause. All right, gold element. It's on the periodic table. Water, compound, H2O. Table salt, compound, NaCl, copper, element. Baking soda. This is a compound. You don't see baking soda on the periodic table. Sugar. It's a compound. Carbon. Element. Oxygen. Element. Calcium chloride. Well, right there, two different elements. Calcium and chlorine. Compound. Aluminum foil. Don't let the word foil fool you. Aluminum is a element. Doesn't matter if it's a foil, a statue, it's just aluminum. All right. All right, so now it gets us to mixtures. All right, mixtures are two or more substances mixed together. So you can have compounds mixed together, you can have elements mixed together, and the key is is they can be separated by physical means. In other words, we mix them together physically, and then we can unmix them physically. And there's two types: homogeneous. Heterogeneous. So homogeneous mixture is evenly blended, evenly blended throughout. So in other words, if I look at the substance, and for the most part, if I look at the mixture, all right. So I'm looking at this lemonade here, this lemonade. I can't see individual parts of the mixture. So it's evenly blended and so it is homogeneous. I can't see the parts. So another example would be salt and water. When you mix it up you can't really see the salt anymore. Kool-Aid, coffee. It looks like just one liquid, one substance. Evenly blended. Heterogeneous, not evenly blended. So it doesn't always have to be liquids. It can be solids, it can be gases. So this is a solid heterogeneous mixture. It's not evenly blended. I can look at this and I can see the different parts. There's a green pea there, there's a black eyed pea, sunflower. I can see all the different parts. If I can see all the different parts, 
it means it's heterogeneous. So dirt and water, sand and water, uh, fruit salad, all these are examples of heterogeneous mixtures. Alright, so I want you to hit the pause and try to label these as either homogeneous, meaning it's evenly blended mixture, or heterogeneous, meaning it's not evenly blended. So hit pause and try to label these. Alright, hopefully hit pause, here are the answers. HM stands for homogeneous, HT stands for heterogeneous. Salt water, homogeneous, sand and water, heterogeneous, Kool-Aid, homogeneous, sweet tea, homogeneous, all right, orange juice with pulp, heterogeneous, the pulp, I can see the pulp, the pulp floats on top, if it was no pulp, it would be homogeneous, so over here, lemonade, no pulp, homogeneous, coffee, homogeneous, or air, when we breathe in air, air is a mixture of different gases, when I look at air, it seems relatively clear for the most part and evenly blended. So this homogeneous. But then, dirty air. Think of air that comes out of the back of your car. Exhaust. Can I see the dirt, the different colors of the gas coming out? This would be heterogeneous. Different parts. All right, brass. This is a zinc and copper alloy. In other words, you can take two metals and mix them together. All right, so this is a solid mixture. And if you look at brass, you can't see the separate zinc or copper. This is homogeneous.